how to create a portfolio with Canva, specifically how to create a portfolio website with Canva. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a portfolio for yourself using Canva. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So over here, you can see this is how it looks like. You're going to go ahead and sign in into Canva. It's totally free. You don't even need to go ahead and get the premium plan but if you want to you can but we'll get into that later now once you're over here you will see you have all of your options right here and if you click on see all it's going to open up uh here you can see we have resumes which is the portrait option uh port proposals all of them right so here you can go ahead and search for whatever you want so let's say we want website or we can just simply search for portfolio website right to simply search for it and we get all these options right here so you can see we've got a bunch of different options to sort of choose from and you can see right here some of them are pro you can see right here it says pro but most of them are free like this one uh this one as well this one is also free now some of you might be different uh creators some of you would be videographers photographers you know coders web design whatever it is uh canva has got you covered you can go ahead and select whichever one you want so like this one this is like the creative portfolio is more uh catered to uh photographers you can see right here you can create a pretty cool design using this template so uh just open it up and then click on customize this design it's going to open up in another tab where you can go ahead and get started with it all right and this is how it looks like you can see right here it's all loaded up and everything looks pretty simple now here in order for you to edit it there's nothing really a lot that you can do like for example it's pretty simple all you got to do is just replace these images that's pretty much it you can change the text you can change some of these uh subheadings and headings about me section like it's as simple as that if you want you can add some more uh, animations to it but really up to you it totally depends on you so for example let's go ahead and say we want to change some of these images all right what i'll do is i'll just use a simple website like this one uh pixabay so i'll just go ahead and download some random images and we'll go ahead and upload them all right it's pretty simple so let's pick a photo let's pick this one and this one there's also this boy one this dogs and yeah, just random images that we would like, like this mouth, the city, modern architects and stuff like that. Yeah, I think this looks good. We'll also get this uh, bridge in the way as well. So I'm just simply going to download some of these images and then we should be good to go. Next, let's go ahead and upload our images. So we're going to click on the upload section over here and we're going to upload image or video. And then we're going to select our images and we're going to wait for them to upload and we should be good to go. So here we go. You can see they're now uploaded. Now we can go ahead and use them. So you go ahead and implement these images. We can go ahead and click over here and delete them. Or, and we can just, you know, move it over here. Or what you can do is just put the image right here. And boom, there you go. Automatically. You can see right there. If you double click on that image, you can go ahead and just move the image around. Uh, you can crop it however you feel like it. Up, down, whatever. There you same thing with this image right here i accidentally added it twice so just drag and drop it over that overlay that you had first hand double click it and then you can move it up and down so i'll just put it right here like that and we should be good to go there we go so here since this is a portrait image i'll upload this one there we go so as you can see it's pretty simple nothing too crazy right just drag and drop images here we have some architectural uh, images so here i'll just upload the building image right there and this one will be the bridge image and then we have a couple of more which we can go ahead and change it up to whatever we want but you get the idea right so next all that's left for you to do is just add the text and other stuff to it for example here in this text we can go ahead and change it to your own name so here you can add your own name like that select it and then you can change the alignment to however you like i think that looks good here you can add your own name work with me over here this is your contact page you can see right here it's already listed and if we click over here it'll take us to the bottom of the page so you don't have to worry about it here is your name your photographer name you can change it to whatever you want you can add a name or delete it or add whatever option you want about me section very simple just change the text and add your about me tell them why you got into photography what makes you so good all of your recent projects just you know overall simple about me section previous works over here 
you can add the name you can see right here add whatever name you want uh, underneath these images add whatever all of your portfolio over here if you have created specific portfolios for specific buildings you can go ahead and add that over here so you can see right here this is the coral stead building all right uh, this is the image right here and we can see what that experience was like here you have your experience section where you can add all of your recent experiences your education what it is that you know makes you different from others and there you go right pretty simple pretty cool right and once that's done all you got to do is click on the publish button at the top right corner click on publish website wait for it to load up it's loading up so give it a couple of seconds all right here we go so you can see right here this is how it looks like you can even select this one to resize it for your uh, mobile phone this is going to be how it looks like over here this is the url if you don't like this you can click on this pen tool and add your own url and you can get a domain by clicking on this button and here you can add your own custom domain add what you want for that you will going to need a professional account but if you already but if you don't have one you can buy it right here for 18.99 pretty expensive but it is what it is what it is uh you can go ahead and get the domain from there and connect it easily since it's already well on canva so you won't have to worry about that and once that's done you can just simply click on publish website wait for it to load up and we should be good to go for some reason the animation you know it's making it my screen i don't know what it is but but yeah once that's done you can click on view my website and this is how it looks like pretty cool right pretty decent nothing too crazy you got your about me section everything loads up quickly and easily it's a one page website as well and we can see some of the animations that were already implemented over here you have the gallery section where you can click on the gallery it'll take you over here you've got the backgrounds uh, about section home contact everything is available right here in just one page so yeah there you go that's how you can create a portfolio website with canva uh you got other options as well uh, as I said before, there are other websites like, for example, Wix. They also have pretty cool options. Uh, you can go with the traditional WordPress websites, Squarespace, a bunch of other ones as well. It totally depends on you. There's also Google sites as well, which is pretty nice. They they have the by far, I would say, the most simplest website uh, creator tool out there. But yeah, it totally depends on you. As I said before, it's quite easy to do so. And the publishing is also very simple. So again, pretty simple, guys, over here. All you got to do is just replace the stuff that you want. And as I said before, Canva has tons and tons of different options for you to choose from. So you can see right here, so many options to choose from. Select whichever one you want. And there you have it. So it's as simple as that. So there, there you go, guys. That's how you do it. That's how you can create your uh, portfolio with Canva. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.